the weekly code quiz. As stated previously, the background position property sets the initial position for each background image. The background position property also accepts the global values of inherit, initial, revert, and unset. How do we set background position? The background position can be set in multiple ways. Using top left, bottom right indicates an edge against which to place it. Background position top, background position right, background position bottom, background position left, and background position center. Let's look at an example. Here is the HTML. We will load each option into a div with a class attribute that we can target with our CSS. And here is the CSS. We use the question mark because we have four options to test. So for example, hashtag edges one would correspond to background position top. This is the result visually. Clockwise from the top left, we have top, right, bottom, and left. Center will center the image. Here is the HTML for our example. The CSS and the visual result. We can also specify X and Y coordinates relative to the edges as percentages or other units. Up to four values are accepted. For two values, the first is the horizontal position and the second is the vertical position. For four values, the usual convention of top, right, bottom, and left is followed. Background position 30%, 70%, background position 0, 0, background position 40 pixels, 30 pixels, background position 10M, 4M. We will look at each of these examples. The HTML. The CSS, where again the question mark indicates, we will replace that with the four examples. And here's the visual result. We have 30%, 70% at the top left, 0, 0 at the bottom left, 40 pixels and 30 pixels at the top right, and 10M, 4M at the bottom right. We can also set the amount of offset from the edges. Background position bottom 40 pixels, right 30 pixels. Background position right 10M, bottom 4M. Background position bottom 40 pixels, right. Background position top right 200 pixels. Here is the HTML for our four examples. And here is the CSS where again, the question mark indicates we will replace that information with the four examples. And here is the visual result. We have bottom 40 pixels, right 30 pixels, 30 pixels at the top left, right 10M, bottom 4M at the bottom left, bottom 40 pixels right at the top right, and top right 200 pixels at the bottom right. What do we do if there is more than one image? If there is more than one image, separate the values using commas. Background position 2m, 4m, comma, right. This is the HTML and CSS has been changed to load instructions for a second image. And this is how this would look on a browser. Let's look at the math behind sending the offset. The background image dimension is subtracted from the container dimension and a percentage of the value is the offset from the edge. So if we subtract the image width from the container width and multiply that by the X position as a percentage, you will get the X offset value. Or we can take the container height minus the image height times the position Y in percent and get the Y offset value. How do we use an image that is wider than the container? Here is an example using an image that is 400 pixels wide and the container that is only 200 pixels wide. For the x-axis, 200 pixels minus 400 pixels is minus 200 pixels. If we multiply minus 200 pixels by minus 25%, we get 50 pixels. If we multiply it by zero, we get zero. If we multiply it by 25%, we get minus 50 pixels. If we multiply by 50%, we get minus 100 pixels. If we multiply by 75%,
If we multiply by 75%, we get minus 150 pixels. And if we multiply by 100%, we get minus 200 pixels. And finally, if we multiply by 125%, we get minus 250 pixels. This is the HTML for this section. Since there are more examples than previous, we are splitting up the results to display as two columns. Our CSS has been modified so that the width of our container is constrained to 200 pixels to match the math we have just reviewed. The question mark indicates we have multiple options to try, and we will replace the background position with minus 25%, 0, 25%, 50%, 75%, 100%, and 125%. This is the visual result. We have minus 25% at the top left, 0 at the bottom left, 25% at the left, 50% at the center, which is equivalent to centering the image in the container, 75% at the right, 100% at the top right, and 125% at the bottom right. Presented by Designers Learn Code.